Hey guys, Daniel from Kurama Aquatics here and today another part in our best food special. This time we're talking about tropical foods. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the staple. Flakes. In our store, we only sell what products we like, generally, and we believe in. The two main flakes we sell are Nutridiet by Seachem and Sarah flakes, both the colour flakes and the normal tropical flakes. You want to typically avoid your supermarket flakes. So in Australia, Coles and Woolworths, you don't want to get your flakes in there because those flakes, heavy fillers, Basically, they're made as cheap as possible. The little money you're going to save is very minimal. Basically, you have to feed more to get the nutrients into the fish. So, with brands like Sarah and Seachem, or Nutridiet by Seachem, you have a lot less fillers and added bonuses of garlic, vitamin C, different vitamin ranges. The <clears throat> color enhancing one the, from the Sarah, the color flakes also has added vitamins and minerals to have more vitality and colours and make colours pop and it really does work. Um, you don't always need it. If you give a good varied diet and use like the normal tropical flakes, you get just as good colour, but it's easier to get the colour with the colour flakes. I've also I found with the tropical uh, the neutral diet, the tropical flakes, that the flakes are just as good as the Sarah Color Flakes. The color enhance, we've tried it on multiple tanks. We, we don't feed flakes anymore, we feed a pellet, which I'll show you later. But you can't go past a well-named brand. There are other good brands out there. Tetra makes some good flakes. Um, there's a magnitude overseas. Hikari do make good flakes, although in Australia, unfortunately, that got recalled. Um, otherwise, it would be up here, because it was quite a good flake. And yeah, stick away from brands. Unfortunately, you don't you don't know the brand. It's not a big name. It's probably not, it's probably going to be a low quality flake. Uh, Vitalis do a good flake as well. We are only just starting to stock Vitalis. We started, and you'll see some of them in another video for other foods. Once we do stock it, I've used it as a sample. Once we do stock it, then um, it'll be one of the ones we recommend. And yeah. So let's move on to hard stuffers and pellets. Put those aside for a minute, we'll talk about them in a sec. Akari, we feel a lot of Akari in the store. Some people say it's, gone, it's not as good as it used to be. I really haven't noticed a difference in the 18 odd years, 20 odd years I've been keeping fish. Um, keeping them heavily since I was 16. So that's the last. <coughs> 11 years, nearly actually 18, actually 12 years. Um, in store, we feed a mixture of these three. Nearly every day. The pellets, awesome pellets. Pretty much everything that eats off the top eats it. It's not messy. There's not much left behind. It's all semi-floating, so it will sink eventually, so for your rams and stuff, although, I've used lapis and rams. And yeah, it's a good all round, has a good lot of ingredients. Um, I mean, a lot of people look at it and go, it could be better quality, but I've found since we have moved over to this, to this feeding for 80% of the fish, apart from cichlids, apart from bigger cichlids, that fish are healthier, less die offs, and yeah, generally just happier fish. <coughs> the only problem downfall is micro doesn't come in bigger bags. Not meant to. Can get one kilo bag, but not meant to be sold. And so let's move on to the wafers. Awesome for loaches, um, corridoras, things like that, rams, things are on the bottom and don't want to come up to eat. Awesome. That's why we feed both of them. So the top and bottom, because most things have in the chill have both of them. Also actually contains meat, unlike 
this bad boy who's just algae. This is also my preferred diet if I have to feed a wafer to things like bristle nose over wafers, because bristle nose are omnivorous. If you ever put blood worms in a tank, you'll know bristle nose absolutely love them. So I prefer this over this, but I do like giving a variety. Wafers, awesome, good for your plecos, good staple, and yeah, it's also good for bringing out colours and like cichlids, especially Africans. Most people don't realise your Africans do have a very plant-based diet. There's a thing called Mabuna bloat. Um, that is because of over-protein generally, because of the feeding over-protein. But we'll get into that in the cichlid video. This one's mostly about your tropicals. After Hikari, we'll put them to the side. We have a couple of different brands. This one, Ocean Nutrition, one of my favourite brands, and one you'll see feature heavily in our saltwater video on saltwater foods. They're crumbles, really good. Unfortunately, sometimes it does get lost in a crowd of quality foods. It is, let's have a look for a second. Slow it down. It's quite high in protein, but it's an all round, it's a generally really high quality product. And yeah, not much weight. It's very similar, I would say, to the Akari pellets and maybe the things a little works out a little bit more expensive but it does come in an actual container where the car just comes in a ziplock bag so well worth a try if you haven't tried that on before and that's James my cameraman letting his phone go off but that's alright we'll keep going while he walks away we have ocean free I like to leave those little things in by the way it shows we're human we're not just we're not trying to make everything perfect all I'm here is to show you the best things for your fish, what I believe is the healthiest. I don't stock, tend to stock too much bad food. I stock what I'd feed my fish. If, if I wouldn't feed my fish, that food, generally, it won't be on my shelf. Every food has its purpose, whether it's bulk foods, feeding bulk, there's still high quality bulk foods, like cichlid staple and stuff that make it cost effective to have big fish and still keep them happy and healthy. But anyway, we've got a bit sidetracked. Let's look at Ocean Free Range. This is a relative new range to Australia. And you have the Pro Miniature fish. That's my cameraman coming back now. Sorry. Um, and the Pro Bottom Feeder Wafers. Both awesome products in their own, own rights. This one's become very popular because it's a pretty little tin. Um, I'll show you what's inside this one because it's easier. But we actually had customers buy these just for the tin. I had a customer online order, they, so they make pro head, goldfish, discus, marine, uh, monster fish, and these two as well. And she ordered all of them. I'm like, how many fish tank do you have? Just out of curiosity. And yeah, she just wanted the containers. So they do happen. I'll show you what's inside these ones just out of your curiosity. It's not like your normal pellets. You have tiny little pellets. You've got a few different sizes, but they come in a bag like that. They come with a little scoop, really awesome for kids. So you can scoop it out and you can say to your kids, only that scoop, so you don't waste any and you don't bomb the tank. By the way, never leave kids with food near kids because they'll always bomb a tank. We see it several, a couple times a week. And there comes a little catalogue telling you about all their products. All right, guys, let's move on to the last type of food, and a very important one, one you can just feed alone. Now let's go to that. Tropical foods are frozen food. Can't go past them. Awesome, add, to add variety. Brine shrimp is basically a laxative. Pretty cheap. On the scheme of things, I think in store Australian price we sell that four sixty, but each about four sixty five dollars. And yeah, and they're of, of course everyone's every fishes most fishes favourite treat blood ones. So yeah, just be, uh, basically as an outro this video, I want to do I want. It all comes down to a varied diet. 
I don't like feeding fish just this or just that. I like feeding them a variety. So to me, an ideal diet, if I had to choose today what to feed my fish, I would more likely feed that. Um, a, a, high, a wafer of some sort, which is that or that pick. There's not that much difference between them. A nice pellet. And then if you have all the herbivores, mix some algae wafers in between. So, yeah, and then obviously a few every now and again, a couple times a week, holding that up. Don't use too much blood work because fish, especially discus and certain types of cichlids, will refuse to eat anything else. I basically just soak until they get their blood ones, like having dessert every day. So, right now guys, that's it for that video, and join us for the rest of the videos coming later on, and yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. Every subscriber get, uh, goes in the drawer for a chance to win a $100 gift badge. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia or overseas, it's $100 Australian by the way, to make that, not $100 US. Australian, Australian winners will get a $100 gift voucher to our store, Kroon Aquatics, and overseas will get a $100 gift voucher to Amazon. Once we start printing shirts and stuff, we may also change it to a shirt giveaway, depending what's happening, or even a hoodie giveaway, something like that. So, right guys, thank you, and I'll see you next video.